God will come in an earthquake. God will come in the wind. God will come in the fire, like spiritually. Meaning like he'll come in a big way. He'll come in a way you feel him physically. He'll come pushing you back with his power. He'll come so tangibly, you'll feel his spirit tangibly. He absolutely wants to come in these big, feeling, physical ways in all of your lives, at some point in your life. But the majority of the time, he chooses to come in a whisper. And so we rejoice and we love the earthquake moments, the fire moments, the wind moments. But the thing is, is that a lot of people prefer God in the wind, earthquake, and fire, in the physical feelings. They're desperate to have the physical touch from God, that they're trying to, like, force God to come in those ways and not accepting of God coming in a still, small voice. And especially as God is maturing you, maybe you've had your big, powerful moments of deliverance and encounters with his power where you felt them tangibly. But then many times after those moments have taken place and you're free and your eyes have opened up, God is real and powerful and I'm in love with him and I surrender. Most times comes the still small voice part time where you're like, oh, I want those awesome experiences again. But it's like you're chasing after the experience instead of God. And he comes in the still small voice way to to increase your faith because faith is not a matter of sight or feelings. But in the unseen, God wants to grow your faith so you can have this strong faith that even though I'm not feeling him physically, he's here. And he's moving in my life. And he's doing miracles in my life right now. 